the following video, video will introduce you to Tribodyne, a new and unique three-stage lubricant designed to reduce friction, wear, and galling. In the video, a simple test has been performed to demonstrate two of these functions. What we have done is taken two steel rods, cut off short pieces of each rod, placed them in a lathe, and begun to apply pressure as the longer piece of steel is spun. We apply both a continuous film of a quality motor oil as well as a continuous film of tribodyne, treated oil, and then we repeat the test without the continuous flow so that we can see just what protection is offered by both the motor oil and a motor oil that is packaged with tribodyne. The results are extremely interesting. Initially, we start off with the lathe and a continuous film of oil being poured over the parts to simulate constant splash lubrication which occurs in most engines. As we apply pressure you will reach a point where you actually hear the lathe begin to slow because of the pressure being applied. You can hear the sound begin to indicate a slowing of the shaft speed. As we continue to apply pressure the shaft continues to slow. Now we can't apply enough pressure to actually cause it to seize. At this point the oil is doing the best it can. You can hear how slow the shaft is at this point. We'll let it run for a moment and then shut it down. Now we're going to take that same shaft and with just a light film of the same oil, we're going to run the test, but there'll be no replenishing of the oil in this test. You will notice as the load increases, the shaft almost immediately begins to slow. As the test goes on, the speed slows significantly until within a few seconds, the pressure is going to be so great, the lubrication so minimal, the shaft will seize and we have to shut the motor off. Before testing the tribodyne, we took the tribodyne additive, poured out one ounce into the quart of the motor oil being used, gave it a good shake to make sure it was thoroughly mixed, and it was now ready for the test. Tribodyne is a dark gray colored additive and when added to your oil will turn it a dark gray color. Now we'll be running the shaft as we slowly add Tribodyne treated oil to the shaft as it spins. Okay, just take it right up. Now start applying pressure. Is that all the way up? We apply a continuous film. Keep going. Hold it. Here we are at maximum RPM and continuing to apply material as we increase the pressure on the shaft. Hold it. You will occasionally hear the shaft speed slow and then pick up again as the material functions providing lubrication. Hold it. See, this is an example of what can be done with splash lubrication, which is typical in an engine. Not all points are pressure fed. This is just simply oil flowing over the parts under extreme pressure and providing full lubrication. We're going to back off again to let the excess material that is puddled between the two shafts drain here for a moment. We will not replenish it. See, we stop replenishing it. You'll notice the shiny area in the middle. That is where the primary pressure was applied as the shafts were brought together. We're going to start the lathe up again and simply crank the two shafts together under speed. And this is going to actually demonstrate the second package of the Tribodyne three-stage package. First, we begin to apply pressure, and you'll notice the shiny area in the middle beginning to develop. 
This is where the bulk of the material is simply being removed by the pressure, but a microfin film continues to exist that provides full lubrication capability. The pressure actually gets great enough that you will be able to, in a moment, begin to hear the bearings rattle in the lathe itself, right there. At this point, first stage is doing all it's can. We now increase the pressure and the second stage begins to function and you will actually hear the sound smooth out in the lathe. No seizing, no stopping until we flip the switch. The following demonstration will be of how effective tribodyne is in oil when it is applied to these two shafts, one of which is spinning in the lathe, and we apply significant heat. Please note the temperature of a typical propane torch will approach 2,000 degrees. Watch what happens as we spin this shaft and we add no additional lubrication. Here we are spinning. Beginning to apply pressure as the shaft is heated up and the oil with the tribodyne treatment is heated up. We will continue to apply pressure through the test. You can begin to hear the effect the pressure is having on the lathe. And then it smooths out as the tribodyne continues to function. You will notice the extremely thin film of material remaining and being heated, you can begin to see it smoking off from the temperature. At this point, the shaft speed has not changed. Continues to spin freely. If you look at where some of the gloss is on the minimal material remaining, you'll begin to see it go light gray as all the oil is totally burned out. We are running dry. Look particularly in the center. And you will see the last of the material, all liquid, totally gone. The shaft is still spinning. Completely dry shaft.